This I call the split lattice block and it's 12 inch finished. It's just a lattice looking block that's split in half or on the diagonal. Here is the diagram and there's no special piecing to do. Patch A you'll cut 2 and 7 8 inches square and cut it in half once diagonally for your 2 inch finished half square triangle. You'll need 4 patches of each color and here are the AccuQuilt 8 inch cube shape 5. Patch B You'll cut two and a half inch squares to get two inch finished square. You'll need six of each color. And here is the cube, eight inch cube shape two for the AccuQuilt. Patch C is a rectangle and it's two and a half inches by four and a half inches cut for a two inch by four inch finished rectangle. You'll need four patches of each color. And it's the eight inch cube shape eight. And finally, patch D, you'll cut 4 and 7 8 inch square, cut it in half once diagonally to get your 4 inch finished half square triangle. You'll need one patch of each. The AccuQuilt die is the 8 inch cube shape 3. I need to change that on yours. And we're just going to begin by piecing the half square triangles, then we'll refer to the diagram to put it together. Here is what four blocks look like. I call this the diagonal look because it, it has a diagonal line going through the quilt and these are all set the same way. These blocks are rotated and it seems to form an X. In the center of the four blocks where they intersect it forms a pinwheel. Here are the fabrics I've chosen. Here are the half square triangles, patch A, patch B are the squares. Patch C are the rectangles and patch D are the large half square triangles. Now I'm going to piece the half square triangles and we'll come back and put the block together. All the half square triangles have been pieced for this one block. There are four small ones and one large one that goes in the center. After I have pieced the block and showed you the block, I'm going to show you how to calculate the fabric for half square triangles using the app on my blog. We're just going to do the one triangle right now so we have little pieces of information at a time. The A patch is the half square triangle and we needed four patches of the light and four patches of the dark. And we cut squares and cut those in half. If you look at these small triangles, you'll see we have the four pieces, four light pieces sewn to the four dark pieces. When you cut a square in half, that gives you two pieces or two patches. And let's look at the light patch. You need four of these. So that means that you will have to cut two of these two and seven eighth inch squares to get your four patches once you cut both of them in half diagonally. And the same goes for this, the darker fabric, because it needs four patches as well. Since one square gives us two patches, we'll have to divide the number of patches by two or, or divide it in half. This is four patches. If we divide it in half, that's, that's two. So we'll need to cut two squares. And we'll have to remember that when we're calculating fabric for an entire quilt. And that's what we're going to do at the end of this video. Now let's go figure out the yardage for our half square triangles using the quilting app. For this demo, I'm going to show you how to calculate the half square triangles for the split lattice block we just did. If you look on your sheet here, right here, it says we need four patches for one block and the squares are cut two and seven eighth inches. Let's assume that we need 35 blocks. So I wrote it on here so you could see. 35 blocks, we need four patches per block, and they're cut at two and seven eighths. The first demo I'm going to show you is the rotary cutting, cutting which is the two and seven eighths. So let's, let's get started on this. We don't need the top part, the sizing a quilt, because we already sized it. We know we want 35 blocks. 
Now we want to figure out how much fabric we need. So if we need 35 blocks and there are four per block, we need to find out if we have our square and we cut it in half, then we only need half the number of squares as we do patches. So if we multiply 35 times 4, it gives us 140. So 35, 35 times 4 is 140. If we cut 140 squares and cut each one in half diagonally, we'll get 280 patches, half square triangle patches. Well, that's too many for this quilt. So what we have to do is, since our half square triangles, each square gives us two triangles, we will take this 140 over here. Sorry, everything's backwards. 140 and divide it by two. So that leaves 70. We'll need 70 squares at 2 and 7 eighths. So I'm writing that down. And there it is, 70 at 2 and 7 eighths. And let's put that in this calculations. It doesn't matter since it's a square. It doesn't matter which is the lengthwise and which is the crosswise. So let's just go down here. And we'll put uh, 2.875, that's 2 and 7 eighths, 2.875, and the patches we need are 70. And we see our results have showed up. So we need to cut five strips at 2.875 inches, that's 2 and 7 eighths, times the width of fabric. And we subcut each strip into 14 segments of 2 and 7 eighths inches for a total of 70 pieces. Now once we take those 70 pieces, get the 70 squares, we'll have to cut each one in half diagonally, so we'll have our 140 pieces. This tells you the fabric you needed, 15 inches, or almost a half a yard. Now that's the fabric you need for this one patch, either this patch, the light patch, or the dark patch. So for the light fabric, you'll need half a yard, and the dark fabric, you'll need half a yard, or 15 inches. The second one I wanted to show you is how you cut with the AccuQuilt, how you figure your yardage for the AccuQuilt. Here is the AccuQuilt die for the two inch finished half square triangle. And I always measure, you measure your, the width and length of your die, I forgot to add here while we're measuring the AccuQuilt die, I measure the width and length of the die and I add a half an inch to that measurement. That's for your overlap of about a quarter inch on all sides of the die. So this is three inches and I put it up here. This is three and seven, three and three quarters and I that, go, that goes up and down. Here we have uh, this is our label, so this is our lengthwise grain. The 3.75 is our lengthwise grain, and the 3 is our crosswise grain. You do the same calculations here because when you cut, when you use this die, you get two patches as well. So we'll need the same number of patches, the 70 patches, when we do our calculations. The only difference is we're putting in different length and crosswise and lengthwise grain. So let's go up here. So the lengthwise grain is 3.75 and the crosswise grain is 3 inches. And we need 70. This says to cut 5 strips at 3 and 3 and 3 quarter inches times the width of fabric and you subcut each strip into 14 segments of 3 inches for a total of 70 pieces. Now the 70 pieces would be the square of fabric, or the piece of fabric that you put over this die. So when you cut the die, you'll get your two, two half square triangles. The fabric needed is 19 inches, or approximately 0.53 yards. So uh, roughly the same yardage. It's gonna, going to be a little bit more always with the AccuQuilt, but that's how you do it. If Whenever you have a half square triangle, when you're rotary cutting the square and you're cutting in half, diagonally, 
that gives you two pieces per square. And this calculation up here is cutting, is cutting off the width of fabric, cutting squares off the width of fabric, and then cutting those squares in half on the diagonal. And it's pretty much the same thing if you have your AccuQuilt. You're cutting your squares uh, across the width of fabric. I think if you uh, are one that likes to fan fold, you can fan fold so you get six layers of fabric at once. Sometimes I like to just cut the pieces and stack them six or, or whatever it holds. Other times I like to fan fold. I, I tend to waste more fabric when I fan fold just because I'm sloppy about it. But if I cut them off, then I, I think I save fabric. But that's just me. That's the lesson for this block is how you cut half square triangles and how much fabric you need for the entire quilt. Thanks for watching.